what we're going to see in this video is programming this part uh, from a solid model and uh, how quickly that's done and then showing the associativity of the finished Esprit file to the original uh, solid model. If we make a design change we'll see the, uh, the part in Esprit and the program automatically update. So let's get started. Let's start by opening a, an Esprit template file for a Sodic wire. Then we will import our solid model. So we'll simply go open. In this case we're using an inventor file. Uh, the same process would apply if it's a SolidWorks, SolidEdge, uh, Pro-E, uh, Unigraphics, CATIA file. Uh, same process and we'll merge that into our spree file. Rotate our part around so we can see our uh, edge side that we're cutting. And programming wire in a spree is extremely simple and very powerful. First thing we'll want to do is establish our uh, feature for cutting. And we simply select a face and the spree will automatically detect uh, what can be cut by a wire. And we will create our feature recognition and in this case we'll determine that we want this to be an open left profile. Uh, Spree will automatically uh, find the plane heights based off of the entire solid model. And of course we could change some of the options that we have in the way uh, these profiles are found. We'll select OK. And the first thing that Spree tells me is that um, uh, we didn't select any specific starting points so the feature recognition is going to calculate some starting points for us. So we'll select OK with that. And we see we have an open feature. And we can see uh, within this feature that a spree recognizes the land and the taper of the relief below the land. Now at this point, we just simply have to tell a spree that we want to do some contouring wire EDM. And since we're in SODIC, we've got the, the default uh, SODIC uh, settings here. And we want to do a rough with a cutoff and a skim. A spree knows that it's an open left from the feature. Uh, plane heights are automatically filled in from the feature. We want to have a uh, slug or a glue stop here, and we want to stop before and after, and what the distance of that glue is. And then we've got our cut data here. Now, since this is a SODIC, we are directly accessing the SODIC uh, database. So we can pick what type of machine that we've got, what type of, uh, let's say, let's pick a um, different machine here and we can set the different types of cutting conditions that we need for this specific part on this machine. In this case I'm setting up the uh, the cut for the um, taper or the main cut. So we can sit here we're directly accessing the database from uh, SODIC and let's you know put all of our information here. We can actually go in and specifically modify our and create our own specific cutting technology as well. So we'll select the settings for the primary cut and for the land um, we can walk through and set up our same conditions for the land. We can change wire if we wanted to. Um, but let's select um, oh this looks pretty good let's pick these settings and we can suppress the rough on the we already had that set for yes on the land because we were roughing with the taper um, we have other options we can set now here in this area right here we're actually extending the beginning and the end of the feature because of the uh, the start point being calculated from the land or from the feature recognition we want to actually extend that out a little bit uh, some more advanced settings, uh, corner rounding, internal corner rounding, make sure that we're reading taper uh, information from the feature, you know, look ahead, um, those types of things. Most of the spe machine specific stuff is here in the cut data. And we select OK. And we have our toolpath. Now one thing I did forget to do is I forget to tell it that I am using a cutoff strategy to take advantage of our cutoff and we'll just simply easily make that change you can see we now have our cutoff strategy in here 
So we have our rough to our glue, our cutoff, then our uh, all of our additional roughs and skims for the part. Now the part's programmed, but let's set up our simulation here um, based off of this block here. And let's say we've got a little wider block um, than our part. And we'll make it transparent so we can see through it when we're doing our simulation. And let's say we're actually touching off on this corner of the block here. So in our setup, we can simply go in here and say, okay, from this corner here, we're actually going to be you know, gauging our wire off of this corner out here. So now let's run our simulation. And we can see our uh, wire positioning and readout and our angle as we're running through. You know, it's going to stop before the cutoff. And single step, and it's going to run through the cutoff. Stop, drop the slug, reverse. So now we're tapering back for the secondary cut on the taper. You see the taper. And then the land cuts. Now, with our part completely programmed, let's say that we've been issued a design change and we want to automatically update that here in the Esprit file. So let's go back to the Emir file and let's actually make that design change. Let's edit the sketch and let's just change, um, make a couple of slight changes here. Uh, let's change this. Let's say we change this to 15 and move this uh, arc a little bit uh, to the left. So, nothing too major, but obviously a change in the part. So let's save that. Let's go back to Esprit. And in Esprit, we'll check our reference file. We can see we have the little icon here that tells us that we need to update our file. So we select Update. And Esprit automatically, automatically recalculates the feature and the toolpath on the part. We're done. Let's run a little simulation here again. You can see the changes uh, taking place, the stop, the cutoff, and all the additional roughs and skims on the land and the taper. At this point, all we need to do is create our G-code. So we'll say create G-code. And we will get a complete file with all the power and offset settings and the quality settings for the Sodic ready to load on the machine and run the part. So you see here's our initial rough and skim. There's our cutoff area through there. And then the rest of the cuts on the land. Thank you.